Hi, this is Fernando from Iron Age Audio Works. Today I want to show you what I did to find replacement faders for this 1280 Sound Workshop console. This is the original fader that I pulled out of the 1280 console. And if you look behind it, you'll see the name of the manufacturer, which is Alps from Japan. The part number lets you know that it's a 10K ohm resistance with an audio taper. And uh, more important is to know the distance of travel. In this case, it's 60 millimeter from end to end. And also the distance between the bolt holes. In this case, it's 80 millimeters. Alps is a Japanese manufacturer. They prefer to work with metric uh, units, so we're going to stick with that. When I looked for a replacement, uh, I looked in the Alps catalog first, and I unfortunately couldn't find anything. And Matt helped me find this Borns fader. You download their tech sheet from their website. You'll see that on the first page, on the on the right of the page, you'll see how to configure a part number when you're going to order one. So we're going to go on this one in detail. The part number that I ended up using was a PTA six zero four three dash two zero one five DPA one zero three. So the first Two digits after the first three letters indicates the distance of travel, 60 millimeters. Four means no dust cover. Three means single gang. Uh, only the pin style that this comes in is for PC mounting with the pins facing down. No detent with a lever length of 15 millimeters. And uh, metal lever style DP, which is the type that we have on the original one. And finally, the 10K resistant valve. So I order a few of these Borns faders from Mauser. They have them in stock there, and uh, they were only a couple of bucks each. And the first thing you'll notice is that the body of the fader, it's not the same size, especially the distance between the bolt holes in the new Borns fader, it's 71 millimeters. Couldn't really find anything that fit uh, the same bolt pattern as, as the original Alps. So to overcome that, what I did was I designed a small PCB that would hold the new fader in place, uh, considering also that the Borns, the new Borns fader is pin mount. Uh, so you can see here the PCB, it's pretty simple. It holds the fader in place uh, very nicely, and uh, after you solder it real quick, uh, it uh, basically fits in the same footprint as the uh, original Alps fader, and it got two extra holes to where you can uh, uh, solder in the wires. To connect them to the to the console. So now that the fader has been installed onto the PCB, I'm getting ready to install it. Uh, I'm not going to use the original hardware uh, because obviously those those screws are not the right length. And just uh, to prevent the nuts to short those two uh, contacts. I'm going to use these longer screws. These are three quarter inch long screws, and I'm going to use a plastic, uh, a plastic spacer, to avoid to prevent the uh, nut from touching them. And uh, before I install it, I'm going to solder the leads so it'll be easier to manipulate. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. This is what it looks like with the wire soldered in, and this is what it looks like uh, once it's installed. And as you can see, it fits perfectly within the same footprint. Uh, the, you'll see that despite the fact that it's exact same travel distance, the slot is a little shorter because the body of the little carrier that travels back and forth is a little smaller on the new fader. But it has the same exact travel distance as an original Alps fader, as you can see in the picture. So I wired it. I... Uh mounted it onto the mixer. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Since it has the same type of lever type, uh, the plastic cap fits perfectly. And as you can see now, we have the same, the same amount of travel as the original fader. And channel 11 now has been restored to its full original glory. So if you're interested in getting some of these PCB boards from me, since uh, I had a minimum order, order quantity of, of five uh, PCB boards, I have enough for four more consoles. Uh, so just uh, write me an email or ask any questions. And I hope this was helpful and uh, you enjoyed it. Till next time. Bye.